everyone! So today we are doing the unthinkable today. We are going through more clothing. It's basically an extension of our closet clean out. That's what we're doing today. Basically, I've been, um, I've been keeping a secret from you guys <laughs> and I'm not proud of it. So as we've been decluttering things, you know, over the last couple of years, I keep saying I'm gonna sell my clothing on Poshmark and I have been. Like if, you, if you've seen my Poshmark, um, I have been selling my clothes. But um, some of you have noticed even like, hey, are you gonna put the rest of your stuff on there? Or what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, what I've been doing is basically piling these clothes, like my old guest bedroom has become this graveyard for all the clothes that I either wanna sell or I'm not sure if I'm selling or donating it yet are keeping it like it's like a whole room just filled with clothes this room it just has a bed frame an old bed frame that uh, I need to take apart and haven't done it yet um, there are just piles upon piles of clothes on this bed and it's just I mean they're all laid out and they were categorized at one point but now I just think they're just laying over the bed um, and there's just piles of them. So I need to go through all of these clothes and figure out what I'm doing. I also have trash bags with clothes in it. Most of those I think are being donated. I don't know though. I don't know what's in all this stuff. So honestly, I've been wanting to get through this room for so long and I always know that I can come to you guys and you will hold me accountable because I'm filming it. There's a date, I'm putting it out there, it's happening. And you always cheer on my decluttering and my mess of a situation and you don't judge me. So, so I appreciate ya. But I am gonna have some of these clothes up on my Poshmark closet now and you'll see some more clothes added as we go. Um, but anyways, this video is sponsored by Poshmark, by the way, which I'm really excited about because, because Poshmark is my favorite place to sell my clothing when I go through my closet. Um, although you can also put up home decor or any, any new makeup that you haven't used, um, those kinds of things can also be sold on Poshmark. So as you're spring cleaning any of those things, Poshmark Poshmark makes it super easy to sell your items, but also you can shop on Poshmark and find up to 70% off your favorite brands. So some of our favorite brands around here, I've seen a lot of Killstar on Poshmark. I've seen Disturbia on Poshmark. I've also seen brands like Madewell or ASOS or Boohoo. Also, you can find luxury brands for affordable prices and get a complimentary authentication card with any purchases $500 or more. So I wanted to show you a couple items I'm gonna have over on my Poshmark closet, which by the way, I will have the link to the Poshmark app down in my description box so you can download it straight from there. I will also have my closet handle in the description as well which is just Jade the Libra. So the first item I'm gonna have on my Poshmark closet is this cow print skirt. I love this skirt so much but I also have it in pants and I wear the pants more than the mini skirt so I figured I'd find a new home for the skirt. I love this skirt. All right so the next thing I'm selling on my Poshmark closet is this dress. It is this black dress with these witchy lace sleeves and the sleeves are all flared out and so pretty the the actual dress like the body of the dress is so soft and stretchy like almost like a jersey material so it's really 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 nice and comfortable next thing i'm selling on poshmark is this kill star mini skirt it's a pleated black mini skirt and it has these really cute buttons on it that are super magical. They have a moon, like a crescent moon and some stars on it. The next thing I'll have in my Poshmark closet is this little black dress and it kind of looks like the one I'm wearing right now. This one has a little bit more of a drapey neck to it. So it's not as straight across as the one I'm wearing. Last but not least on my Poshmark closet, I am so excited for whoever gets these. I'm gonna be selling these red vinyl leggings. And they're supposed to fit super skin tight they don't feel like they have a lot of stretch, but they're one of those pants where they have that kind of magical fit to where they somehow make room around your body, but they don't feel super stretchy. Like you don't want your vinyl pants to look like they're baggy, like you're wearing a, a vinyl diaper. <laughs> so that's kind of what they looked like on me. Sadly, they were too big. Hopefully they will find a good home where they fit perfectly and give you that red vinyl pant look. This would be perfect. Also, don't forget, you can download the Poshmark app straight from my description box. If you click on the link down in that description box, I also have my closet listed there. Also on my Poshmark closet, some items, I'm gonna have exclusive items on there. I almost wanna call it a giveaway, but it's more of just exclusive items that will be marked down to $3. Um, so you can 
can find those over in my Poshmark closet. Also, I always love seeing how you style the items that you bought from my Poshmark closet. So if you want to tag me over on Instagram, my Instagram handle is jadethelibra. Anyways, now that we've gone through that, we have an entire room to get through. If you need a little decluttering inspo, hopefully this will be a good before and after for you. Um, anyways, before I babble on any longer, let's get into it. All right, so here is the room before the shame of it all. It is a total disaster. Uh, but I do feel like this is why a lot of organizers will tell people that if you're not going to sell your items, that you should just go ahead and donate everything or give yourself a deadline to sell your items by because otherwise you just end up moving your mess to another room. And that's exactly what happened here. But you know that I'm never afraid to show you guys my mess and we're going to conquer this together. So I first went in and grabbed all my winter coats. And even though this room is basically things I'm either donating or selling. I was done with my winter coats and they were taking up all this space. Seriously, the bulkiest coats. Um, so I just threw them in here in my procrastination room is what I'm going to call it. Threw it in here for later. And I, I highly don't recommend <laughs> that logic because that's how you end up with this situation this mess of a room um, but I threw them in here because I knew I was going to deal with this room um, and I usually put them in a vacuum seal bag because it'll make those big fluffy coats to shrink down to little space so by the way the coats were kind of draped over these boxes so that's why I started with the coats but normally I would start with the floor situation that way I can at least maneuver around the room and get to things before I start decluttering so I was moving all the postal boxes to the corner of the room because I'm going to need those here coming up when I ship everything uh, that I sell over on Poshmark. So I put all those together kind of back in the corner behind those little totes. Also left a little container thing. There's a bunch of hangers in that container with a little pink backpack in it. So I left that there as well because I'm going to need that here as I'm kind of going through the clothes. So now I'm just going through all the clothes and mainly just hanging up all of the dresses or anything that was any sort of blousey or chiffon type of material, anything that can wrinkle really easily. I'm going through and hanging all of those clothes up or just using those hangers in that little container I was just talking about. Um, but also anything else that can be put in a tote or be put like folded up and put away. Um, I put those aside as well, but I don't hang them up. Then I take all the items I put on hangers and I take them straight to my office because that's where I will uh, take photos of each of the pieces um, and it gets out of this room as well. Anyway, just continuing on the whole sorting journey, sorting things by, I also sort some things by season. So I'll put all the spring and summer stuff that's kind of to the right. And then anything that's more long sleeve or fall and winter, I'll put to the left. That way I know which items I think are more urgent to sell now. Um, and then which ones can maybe wait a little bit. And I'll also set aside anything that I'm going to be donating if I decide to donate some of the pieces here. Most of this is stuff for Poshmark, but some of the things last minute I did decide to donate. And how I kind of determine that is usually on Poshmark, I'll sell things that I've maybe, like they've either never been worn or I've only worn it once or maybe twice or just for photos, that kind of thing. Um, where when I donate pieces, it's things that I've maybe worn a little bit more, but they're still in really good shape or if it's an item that I would have to mark up too much for it to make sense. So if it was like a little cami, for example, from Forever 21, if I had to mark it up too much just so it would make make up for the supplies and everything to ship it, it just wouldn't be worth that. So I'll go ahead and donate that. Um, but here I'm just going through more totes, totes on totes on totes, where I would put stuff away that I was going to donate, whether it was off season. So I put it in a tote, I'll go back through those um, and then just deciding what I'm keeping and whatnot. And then this tote right here had a bunch of different costume stuff, but I had just put it in this room. So I moved it to the basement because that's where all my costume or uh, stuff I shoot for uh, photos or concept pieces, that kind of stuff. I just moved it to the basement. Um, and then now I'm going back through all this stuff and hanging up all these dresses and once again, taking them to my office closet so I can get ready to take photos um, and get ready to sell them. So that's what I'm kind of doing here. And then here I'm going ahead and loading up this tote with any of the pieces that didn't really need to be hung up or anything that was out of season because I'm not going to start there. I'll get there here later, uh, but I'm just putting all of the pieces at the bottom that are more out of season. And then as I work my way to the top, it'll be more of the urgent pieces. Um, but these are all things that can be easily folded up. Um, so 
anything that's more of like a t-shirt or tank top or pants, that kind of stuff. Um, I can just fold them up and put them in here. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Just filling up this tote so I can easily access all the pieces. Just grab them from the top, take the photo and we can get through it all. Um, so just trying to organize it in some way or get things contained to where I know exactly where the pieces are that I'm gonna be selling. So they're not just laying on a bed randomly where I don't know what I'm selling, what I'm donating, where everything is. Then over here, these uh, this is a trash bag of the items from this year when I did my closet clean out, items that I'm going to be selling. So I went ahead and took everything out of that. And any of the dresses and blouses and anything from the last closet decor clutter. All those were already put in my office closet ready to go. So they're ready for photos. Um, this was all just the stuff once again that could be folded up and put into a bag. So I'm just taking everything out, folding it all back up and putting it into the bin with the other things I'd kind of folded and put away. So once again, I can just grab it really quick, take the photos, know exactly where everything is. So I don't have to kind of feel around a room and wonder where that top is that I'm selling. Everything's going to be in one place, ready for photos and then ready for shipping. And once everything is in the box, I'll put the lid on, set it aside and get all that ready to shoot. All right. So moving on to this area over here, all of these bags are the, there's just two of them. These two bags uh, were from my closet declutter last year. And I was a little confused. I think <laughs> what was in these, like you can see me kind of digging around in them. <laughs> Just double checking their donation and not to sell on Poshmark. But no, they were donation bags just sitting in here for a full year. I think last year, I think I maybe put them in here thinking, oh, when lockdown is over, I'll just drop them off because I don't know if anyone's taking donations. And here we are a year later. So I ran them out to my car, put them in my trunk, and I'm going to drop them off next time I'm out running errands. But yeah, that was exciting. And then from there, I'm just picking up anything extra that was on the floor or like any hangers or paper or pillows or anything that was just on the floor. Moving on to the other side of the room, I'm doing the same thing, picking up some stuff off the floor, some lids. I also had another bag of donation stuff. So I was getting that going, tied up and also uh, carried it out to my car so I could drop it off and get it over with. So I got a lot of stuff out of this room. I didn't realize how much was in here. Um, moving on to this really awkward situation. <laughs> so when we had moved the mattress in this room to the basement, we had a different bed frame we used in the basement. Um, so we did a whole little guest suite down there. So I had ended up, like I didn't have time to take down this bed frame, but I didn't want it to just look like an empty frame. So I just kind of put some extra pillows and linens and covered it up with a duvet duvet cover just to have it at least look aesthetically pleasing because I have to be an extra Libra like that. Um, so here I'm just like over it. I need to take this bed apart, get it done. So I just took everything off and I also ended up moving out the guitar cases, which I didn't show. Um, but here there's a little before and after action. That was the before. Here's the after. And uh, this room is ready. Like I just need to have my husband help me take down this bed frame. And for this room, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up having this be kind of where we pass package up all of our stuff for our apparel line. Also, when I sell things on Poshmark, um, I can have all the supplies in here and I won't have to take up all the space and create a bunch of mess in like my dining room or on my kitchen. Um, we have the extra room, so I figured why not? Also, I figured we put some maybe guitars, books, have a little hangout area as well in here. I don't know. We, don't, we just have this extra room, so we'll play around with it. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed cleaning with me. Also, don't forget I'm having a closet sale over on Poshmark right now. Everything should already be up. So you can download the Poshmark app directly from my description box if you don't have it yet. It's available in US, Canada, and Australia. Uh, you can check out my closet and see what I'm selling. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know uh, your secret place that you clutter. Maybe it's not an entire room. Maybe it's a drawer or a closet. Maybe it's your car. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I feel like maybe not everyone has a secret place, but maybe I'd feel less shame if other people did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.